Hi there, this is Jason from GTEC at the Gordon, and I'm going to go through this idea of creating a, well, creating and using uh, to best effect uh, the idea of a walkthrough unit for one of your Moodle modules or units in a course. Um, as you can see here, I've got a, a unit that's ready for the learners to uh, get into. Um, so I'm at the design stage and the implementation stage. Um, and what I've done is I've actually created a screencast uh, and then uploaded that screencast to YouTube um, here. And what that YouTube screencast does is basically I introduce the unit, I, I show how to find it in the navigation bar on the page, and then I explain what it's generally about, and then I go through each of the resources and assignments and give a quick uh, sort of set of instructions for each on you know what it's about and what they need to do with it how they need to upload assignments how they'll be graded and that sort of thing and I do it in order um, as as they're presented here so I've created this tutorial um, that basically gives this walkthrough in instructional idea of what they need to do for this particular unit in the Moodle course um, so what am I going to do with it? You know, I've got this tutorial uh, for the students that gives them that idea, but where am I going to put it? What am I going to do with it? Now there are a variety of different options. Um, so if I turn editing on, okay, now I can start to uh, fiddle around and do something here. Um, now there are, as I said, there are a variety of options. What I could do is create a book module and put the video in there. Um, and then I could add other videos for other units as I go. Um, another thing I could do is add a resource here. And what I could do is just add a URL. And then I could just add the URL for that video. And what would happen then is the learners could click on that URL link and they would get access to the video. That's kind of the simplest one to do. Um, another thing I could do is add a resource and make a page and then I could embed the video in that page. I could go to my video settings here, I could go to share, and then I could actually embed, get the, uh, the embed code, and I could embed it in um, a page using that option there, and then I could uh, slot it in here as a page that they can refer to that gives them the instructions for this unit. But what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different. What I like to do in my courses, is to um, encourage them to take notes about what they need to do in a unit so that they and I can actually see that they understand what they've got to do. So what I'm actually going to do is make a mini assignment out of this. So instead of adding it as a resource, I'm actually going to add it as a, a sort of mini lesson. When it is a lesson in a way, it's a lesson about what to do for this unit. So what I'm actually going to do is go to add an activity and I'm going to choose this lesson option here. Now, If I click on the lesson option, it's going to bring up uh, adding a new lesson. All right, um, And I need to think of a name that explains what this is going to be about. Um, so I'm going to call it uh, unit, if I can learn to type, unit one walkthrough assignment. Uh, Actually, I'll call it walkthrough presentation and assignment. Okay. Now, um, I'm not going to worry about any of these settings here. Uh, time limit, mm, I'm not going to enable that. Um, I'm not going to worry about any of these settings for now um, because I've got a specific thing in mind for this lesson. Uh, I'm not going to put in quiz questions or anything like that. I'm actually going to use the essay function. Now, I do want to grade it. Um, so I'm going to actually choose a scale of five stars just to give them an idea of how well they appear to have uh, understood the, the content. For now I'm not going to categorize it because right now I've only got my uh, outcomes in there. I'm going to create a new section in the gradebook later just for the orientation assignments, just the unit walkthrough assignments. So I'm going to do that later. I'll leave it uncategorized for now and it will just appear uh, in, a, in a block somewhere else. Now, I don't really need it to be a practice lesson. Uh, the custom scoring is on, so leave it as it is. I'll let them retake it, just in case they um, submit it and they, they don't do it properly. Um, I'll use a maximum in terms of uh, you know calculating how well they did on that. Um, 
I don't really need to put in an ongoing score because this is going to be a mini essay assignment. I will allow them to review it and I will allow them, I won't worry about that question, provide the option to try a question again. Maximum number of attempts, um, I'll leave it at one because basically there's only going to be one question in this. Um, you'll see that when I come back in and do the essay function. Um, display default feedback, don't need to worry about that, don't need to worry about the progress bar. I probably would, no I don't need to put a left menu in. Um, what I will do however is um, create where it says slideshow I'll say yes so that it comes up in a consistent box format in a slideshow format. Um, I don't need to worry about any pop-ups or links here. Basically I can go straight down to the bottom and where it says completion tracking I'm going to show this as complete when the conditions are met and they have to view the activity and they have to receive a grade for this activity in order for it to be marked as complete. So I'm going to save that and return to course. This is just basically the setup stage for the lesson. Um, and you can see it's popped up here down the bottom. Now, I actually want the walkthrough to be the first thing they do. So I'm actually going to grab that arrow there and I'm going to pull it right up to the top. And it didn't work. So I think I've got to pull these ones down below it first. Sort of depends on which browser you're doing in terms of what the dragging around allows you to do. I think I've noticed differences between Google Chrome, um, Firefox, and um, Internet Explorer. I'm in Google Chrome at the moment, but uh, I've just dragged the other ones below it so that this ends up at the top, and then I'm just going to use this arrow button to move that along like that and just line it up with the rest of the stuff I've already got in the unit. Um, now that's ready to go but now I've actually got to click on this and actually put in my content. The, I've just set up the parameters and the title for it at the moment so I'm going to click on that and it will actually take me there and allow me to edit. Now what I'm going to do is what would I like to do first um, what I'm actually going to do is add a question page and it's going to give me uh, options for different kinds of questions and I'm going to choose essay. Now I could have choos chosen a variety of other things, I could have put in a variety of matching tasks or something like that but I just want in this case for the learners to take some notes based on a video so I just need the essay one which is like a large open, uh, open box that they can type in. Uh, so I'm going to add that question page. Now the page title I'm just going to put um, a walkthrough assignment. Unit 1. Now, where it says page contents, this is what's actually going to appear on the page. And what I want to do is put my screencast tutorial in here. Now, um, at the moment the embed settings on 420 by 315 and I, I want it to be bigger than that um, so I'm actually going to put in here um, 640 um, to make that video a bit bigger and you notice it ad adjusts the embed code accordingly uh, so I'm going to copy that embed code from my screencast video on YouTube go back to my page and what I'm actually going to do is click on, I'm going to enter down a few times and I'm going to click on that HTML button there and you can see it says source editor and I'm just going to plug in that code from the YouTube embed code and I'm going to update. Now what you'll notice is that the video appears and we can now put some instructions below that because in Moodle itself, once I've completed this, um, they're going to see the video at the top, they're going to see some instructions and then there's going to be a box for them to type in. So it's like, it's like a one page thing with the video tutorial at the top and then an open response box below that, 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 that they can type into. So just below that I'm just going to write, um, watch the tutorial above explaining what you need to do for unit one in this course take notes 
below explaining uh, exactly what you need to do in order to successfully complete this unit. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, bold that so it's a bit brighter. I might put it in a different font color too, just to make it stand out. So it's going to come up in blue like that. Uh, just enter another line there. Uh, sometimes you've got to fidget around a little bit um, with your formatting in these boxes, just to make sure that there are blank lines and that sort of thing. So I've put, I've embedded my video there and I've got some instructions for the learners to follow there and I can add that question page. Now one little thing that I, I made a mistake with there is I didn't put a score there so I'm actually going to go back where it says score 1. Um, given that I've put a 5 star scale in here I might just put this as uh, 5 and that will match up with the uh, 5 star scale I've chosen for the assignment because then I can put 0 to 5 and the stars will match up with that. So I've saved the page. Now what will happen is that's all ready to go because it's only just an essay question I only had to make one page. Uh, I'm going to go back to Literacy Intermediate in my menu up here and I'm going to turn the editing off so we can see what the students will see. And you'll notice here I've got a Unit 1 walkthrough presentation and assignment here now. If I click on that, as you can see, um, it brings up this uh, page here. And we've got our video there that they can click on and watch. And then I've got the, uh, we've got the um, instructions here. Now, you may notice, uh, just looking at this, that this is still, I'm not using all the available space here. I can probably go a bit bigger in terms of the video. So, um, given that it's a screencast and there are buttons to click on and, and sections of menus to look at, I I'm actually going to make this video a bit bigger. So, what I'm actually going to do is edit this and click on that page there again. and it's not letting me... Ah, uh, oh, here we go. I click on the spanner to edit, sorry. And, yeah, see, that's it's sort of tempting to think your video will be the same size as this box here, but remember you can resize this just by dragging it around. Um, in order to change the size of that, the, the video there, what I can just do is just go back to my video here again, my YouTube video, and I can just set it in... Uh, instead of 640, I'll put in 720 and the code changes. So I'll copy that code again, go back in here and click on HTML. And all I've got to do is look for the part that had the YouTube code, which is here. And all I've got to do is Control V and I've just changed that. So if I just update that, you'll notice how the video is now a lot bigger. Uh, it's a little bit wider. Um, save the page go back to Literacy Intermediate again. Um, I'll click on this to have a look. And you can see I've just made that video a bit bigger now. It's a, it's a lot, um, should be a lot easier for the learners to look at. Now, um, what the learners will do is they'll watch this video and it takes them on a walk through through the unit and all the different stages. Um, and they'll take notes as they, you know, they'll take notes in here as they're um, watching the video and they're their task is to show me that they actually understand what it is they've got to do. And once they've taken notes about that video, all they've got to do is go down and hit that submit button. I will get um, a, a notification saying that someone submitted this unit walkthrough assignment and I'll be able to check and go through their notes and just see that they actually do understand what it is they need to do for this unit. Um, so it won't be a formal grade uh, in terms of the overall grade for that walkthrough assignment but it will be a prerequisite before they can go on and actually do these tasks because that way I know that they know what to do and they've got an incentive by actually taking these notes. They're sort of encouraged to actually pay attention to that video. You know, one of the things when you're putting stuff online, especially videos that show people what to do and how to do it, 
sometimes they won't take them very seriously or they won't even bother watching them or, or they'll just watch it once and just go fine okay what's next but when you put it up as a sort of assignment that says you know before you go ahead and do any of this stuff you need to show us that you understand it or show us what you do or don't understand about it um, it's just that incentive for them to actually watch that video and pay more attention uh, especially with the cohort I teach they tend to breeze through stuff without paying too much attention um, and I found this is a really good way of making sure that they actually do pay a bit of attention so that I'm not answering the same questions again and again and again um, and hopefully you know answering some of those questions they'll have in advance before they go and actually try and do anything so that's uh, one way of using a unit walkthrough um, in this case I've made it a mini assignment with an essay question you could do it in various ways you could put multiple choice questions up there or you know matching questions if you'd prefer that they did it that way or you could upload it as a simple link um, to a, a URL that they just watch the video or you could even upload a, a Microsoft Word assignment that they fill out in response to that video so there's a variety of different ways um, I've just chosen this one which was the assignment one and um, I will then make a separate section of my gradebook um, and have a section for all my unit walkthroughs and hopefully that's just going to make my job easier and their job easier uh, in terms of an online course offering I'll actually be able to track and check that people know what's going on before they attempt the tasks in each unit so there you go that's a, a quick uh, demonstration of how you might go about doing that